Today we're going to be talking about how to find the derivative of a parametric curve. And in this particular example, we've been given the parametric curve defined by these two functions, x equals t sine of t and y equals t squared plus t. So whenever we're finding the derivative of a parametric curve, we need to remember that the derivative we're looking for is dy over dx, which means take the derivative of y with respect to x. Well, in this case, we have two different functions. Normally when we find dy dx, we just take the derivative of our function because our function is, of, is, is a function for y in terms of x. But in this case, we have two functions, one for x and one for y, and they're both in terms of t. So the way that we take the derivative is we actually take the derivative of y with respect to t, and we divide that by the derivative of x with respect to t. So what this tells us is that we'll take the derivative of our function for y with respect to the variable t, we'll put that here in our numerator, and then we'll take the derivative of the function x with respect to t and put that in the denominator. So we'll, we'll find the derivatives completely separately, but put them into one fraction. So the derivative of our function y with respect to t, we're just using power rule to take the derivative of t squared plus t. So the derivative will be 2t plus 1. That's an easy one. The derivative of the denominator here, which is dx over dt, in other words, the derivative of the function x with respect to t, we're going to need to use product rule because we have two functions multiplied together, or the product of two functions, one function is t and the other is sine of t. So remember that product rule tells us that when we have two functions that are multiplied together, we have to take the derivative of the first one, multiplying it by the second, then leave the first one alone and take the derivative of the second, and we, we take the sum of those two products. So we'll take the derivative of just t by itself, and the derivative of t is 1, and then multiply that by sine of t. So sine of t. And now we'll add to that the opposite case, where this time we take the derivative of sine of t and we leave t alone. So we'll say times, we have t times the derivative of sine of t, which we know to be cosine of t. So we've essentially taken the derivative and now it's just a matter of simplifying as much as we can. Well, the simplification on this one is pretty easy. What we find is that dy over dx, the derivative of this parametric curve, is just 2t plus 1 divided by sine of t plus t cosine of t. And that's it. That's our final answer. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.